So this video is about the problems that I have with the user defined hash patterns uh, that I was to you trying to use in my inventor in 2015. And the problem is that I have defined my hash pattern and uh, then it turned out that inventor is seeing that in inches regardless of what my default units are set to. Uh, so rather than defining the hatch in inches, I would like to de define hatch in millimeters and have them used in millimeters. So this is the first problem that I have encountered and the second problem is the hatch angle that is uh, hatch pattern angle that is applied when the cross section is done. So uh, I will now present you the, the workflow. So this is the, um, the hatch pattern definition that I have made. So you see this is a standard uh, dashed line uh, that is 45 degrees starting the hatch pattern starting uh, at uh, uh, origin of the, of the coordinate system. Then there is, a, there is a only one direction of the, of the pattern of the lines and the line is 1.5 dash and 1 blank uh, so I expected this to be in millimeters of, but it turned out they are read in uh, inches and also the hatch so I will now place uh, any part um, on my drawing to, to have it you know, to have it uh, in here so to give you the, the rough uh, scale this uh, sheet is a3 so it is uh, 420 millimeters by 297 millimeters this way so we have a, we should have a pretty pretty decent hatch uh, that will, would look nice on the drawing if it were applied now I will go to the style uh, editor. First thing what I will do is I will remove the section hatch angles from the style. This setting uh, is, uh, is, is, uh, is to, 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 to change uh, hatch uh, pattern angles in various parts of the section so to have different areas hatched with a uh, different angles but I don't want that I want all hatches on my drawing to be uh, following the hatch pattern definition so I will delete all those so I will I have no section hatch angle defined in, in my default style uh, in my default standard now so I suppose in such case all hatch patterns that are on the drawing should follow the hatch uh, patterns angles defined in hatch pattern itself now I will add uh, the hatch pattern associated with uh, the material of my part so I will select this part I will get the material of this part we can see this is a generic material material mm, and now I will assign my hatch pattern to this uh, material so I have it found earlier so we have to look so as we can see in the preview, the hatch patterns is more or less looking like expected dash, space, dash, space, dash, space at 45 degrees. So this is roughly about what I expect to see. Maybe the scale is uh, not really presented here, but this is, this is pretty much what I want. So I have assigned and I have a preview here that is pretty nice. I will save it now. now. Now I will do the section of my part. And since this part is uh, of generic material, I expect my hatch pattern to be applied to the section of the part. I will change the scale so we could see more clearly. And a uh, surprise! First of all, the hatch pattern is aligned at zero degrees, so it is straight up or uh, so, or more more likely, it is uh, 45 degrees plus 45 degrees from what I have had defined in my in my hatch pattern because my hatch pattern originally should I will make a quick sketch here. 
So my original hatch pattern should be uh, should be aligned in roughly this direction. But this hatch pattern is aligned straight vertical, so so like this. Uh, so we can see that Inventor added 45 degrees to the hatch pattern defined angle and aligned it vertically. So this is the first problem because the hatch pattern is not following its internal uh, defined internally defined angle. Rather, uh, it is following some angle. I don't know when or where it is defined that Inventor automatically adds 45 degrees to the hatch pattern applied to the material when, uh, when the cross-section is done. So now the, size, uh, now the size of the, the, size of the, of the hatch pattern. I expected my hatch pattern to be one um, 0.5 millimeters and then one millimeter gap, 1.5, one millimeter, one point. If we try to to get this the, the size, I will get roughly from here to here. We can see. And we will try to align it. We can see clearly now that the space between the, 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 the lines in the hatch pattern is one inch. This is exactly one inch. So what I have defined, oh, I have closed it, but uh, what I have defined in uh, in my hatch pattern was so the the lines the the, 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 fa the families of the lines are are to, to be spaced I I expected one millimeter but obviously uh, the the inventor reads this as one inch also this inventor reads as 1.5 inch and this as one inch gap in the in the line pattern so this is the other thing. How can I define the hatch pattern in such a way so Inventor knows it is in millimeters and it should look like uh, it should look like that. Where is this 45 degrees comes from? Mm, I wonder if it will accept that. Yeah, okay, so what I expected to see is that I expected to see this kind of pattern applied to the material as I designed it. 45 degrees, 1 millimeter spacing between line families, 1.5 millimeter dash and 1 millimeter gap. This is what we see now. As you can see, this is clearly different from what is generated automatically when the cross section is done because this is generated automatically with this hatch, the hatch pattern defined so where are those settings that I need to change to get the result I need